few moments of uh, Sullivan magic in frame two, a quite Brian sensational 135 clearance. The rest of it's been pretty ordinary, but he's won all three frames. He's won away from the round of 32 and a possible meeting with the whirlwind Jimmy White, who of course plays Matthew Stevens later for Alan Taylor. Well, it's not as though he's not had chances, but he's just not been able to make anything from them. Yes, and that was uh, an attempt at a containing shot, but it's not he's not really contained the situation at all. One. Eight. Oh, goodness me. He looked <laughs> reaching across at the ball there. And he looked like he was in a lot of pain, actually. Quite way he'd want to play Nine. that shot in the first place. I don't know when he had the one he could just run through. Sixteen. Seventeen. Well, he was very straight on the black. It was always going to be difficult to generate enough pace 32. to get the punch open. Oh, and on the black. Some shot. Again, quite straight, but he 40. found a way of getting wide up for the red. Pushing on the black again. He's off again here. And now this is key. This the fact that he's played on this red in this way. This really 40. opens the other reds up quite considerably. Yeah. Seven reds, seven blacks. 56. Is he in the mood for a maximum? Well, he's taking this red because it later on it could have been a more difficult one. 57. To get an angle to play on the black from. So while it was there, might as well play it. But these are lined up perfectly down the middle of the table. You'll never see a better chance than this for a 147. 64. Sixty-five. Nobody has nobody has ever made more fourteen on the O'Sullivan roster. Seventy-two. Tepchira New, of course, 72. has already made one in this tournament. As things stand, he pockets seventeen thousand pounds for that break. But if O'Sullivan were to make one here, he'd have to share it. Well, he had such a big area to play in. Anything up the table, 80. he had certainty to be on a red.
81. And the pink is never going to be on its spot in a 147 chance because it's never been potted, but it's still in a very good position. Eighty-eight. Eighty-nine. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. And frankly, it would be a surprise now if O'Sullivan doesn't go on to make the perfect break. Well, all the Reds are in such good position. 104. 105. Well, that wasn't clean, but in it went. Yes, and you saw Ali Carter looking across. It tends to attract the attention of other players. 112. It's always a special moment. And it's all about just getting up for the yellow, not getting the blue or the pink in the way here, which can happen. Player stopped on the other table, which is nice. What a shot. That is struck to perfection. Steve Davis made the first ever televised 147 back in the early 80s. He won a larder for his trouble. Well, it has been a very straightforward break so far. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Everyone stop now. All eyes on O'Sullivan. 125. He's saying it's gone all quiet. Well, yeah, it would do. People want to see this. And... I have to say, it's been the most sublime break. He's just gone too far. This is the first time in the break he's not been in inch-perfect position. 100. Now, does he have the angle? It looks like he does. It's not straight, and that's the only way that you'd give him a problem here. This has been just magical. What a way to round off victory. He made a 1-3-5 break in frame two, which was sublime. But this one is extra special. It's a maximum from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Incredibly, the 15th of his professional career. Alan Taylor had the best seed in the house. He was overawed today by the brilliance of O'Sullivan in those two frames in particular. He produced the kind of snooker that only he can. And that is a memorable moment for this Crawley crowd. On their feet to applaud. Everyone stopped to watch. And it was well worth stopping. O'Sullivan quite sensational as he goes through with a flourish by four frames to nil.